I am an Orthodox uh, Hasidic Jew from Israel, uh, and I work as a historian or um, a kind of consultant to the court that, uh, in Jerusalem that Rabbi Hollander is talking about. Uh, most of the people here know me from my endless discussions about uh, the similarities between Islam and, and Jewish customs. I, I enjoy talking about the Hadith uh, Tabari, uh, Ibn Hisham, Wakidi, uh, talking about the kings of Hamyar, as much as I enjoy talking about the, the Midrash Rabbah, the uh, Midrash Egula, Rambam, Tosfos, the Shulchan Aruch. Uh, I, I, I like very much to talk about common prayer customs between Islam and, and Judaism, about the similarities in architecture between the masjid and the uh, synagogue, between the similarities of the calendar, the, the Jewish uh, uh, holidays and, and customs. But it's clear to me that there's more than just similarities, that, uh, that they obviously go back to a common root and a common faith. So when talking about a, a common uh, heritage, uh, in our Jewish literature, we are taught that there is such a thing as a common faith, a fundamental religion which all men are born into. And this is a basic faith which is obligated on all mankind. In the past, we've called it by different names, uh, Yirei Shemaim, which means the fear of he the people who have fear of heaven, Gertoshav, or Bnei Noach, the children of uh, Noah, or during Hellenist times, in Greek it was called Theosebea, uh, and according to the school of thought of Rabbi Ben Mosig, uh, this fundamental faith is also called by the name Islam. Some have suggested that this refers to the great number of non-Jewish believers who came to sacrifice the Qurban Shlamim in Jerusalem together with the Jews. Salamai, Muslimai, Muslimi. This could be a clear indication in, in our literature that Islam is an ancient religion dating back to the time of the Second Temple or, uh, or even earlier. And if Islam's roots, if the roots of Islam are the same as what we call B'nai Noach, then for us it is much older. This is the religion of Noah. This is the religion of Adam himself. The, the closeness of, of Islam and Judaism has always been understood by biblical scholars un until recent years. The close relationship with the Jews, the, the Ten Lost Tribes, uh, the, the Arabs, the Rechabites, all this was assumed to be true. It was only with the advent of German revisionists like Wallhausen and Buchler and others who, that this began to change. They introduced ideas that Islam had something to do with worshipping the moon, rocks, or some asteroid that fell. Mm. But devout, jo devout Jews know that this is not true. It's a fact of Jewish law that we believe that Muslims and Muslims are perfect monotheists. They worship the same God that we do.